Hello, I'm Harris and you are watching Japan via Harris YouTube channel. I came to Japan on Japanese government fully funded max scholarship to study masters in Tokyo Institute of Technology. And after graduating, I'm now working as AI engineer in Tokyo. And in my YouTube channel, I have uploaded so many videos on how to get scholarship for masters and PhD in Japan. But recently I was getting so many comments from you guys who have been watching my videos to also upload videos about undergraduate admissions in Japan. I used to think that in Japan, undergraduate studies are mostly in Japanese, but upon your request, I started to explore some English-based undergraduate programs in Japan, and I was very surprised that there are so many universities in Japan that are offering English-based undergraduate programs. So I did a research and I compiled the list of all those universities who are offering undergraduate programs in English in all fields of sciences, arts, business and everything. So there were more than 20 universities that were offering English courses for undergraduate. So in this video, I will share with you that what are those universities and which courses they are offering. And also at the end of the video, I will share that what are the documents that are required to apply for admission in those universities and what is the fee structure of those universities. So before that, I will go through all the list of the universities one by one. First, I will share about the public universities, then I will talk about the private universities. So please listen carefully and take notes that which universities are offering courses of your interest. So please take note of those universities and after sharing the list of the universities, I will share that how you will apply in those universities. First on the list of public universities is University of Scuba and it's in a city called Scuba, which is not very far from Tokyo and it's a public university. There are two major departments that are offering English courses for undergraduate. The first department is life and environmental sciences and they are offering four courses in biological sciences, agrobiological and resource science and geoscience. And in another department, which is international social studies, they are offering courses in English for social sciences, international studies, global issues and medical science. Next on the list is Hiroshima University and it's actually in the south part of Japan in Hiroshima city, which you might know as well. So the English department in that university for undergraduate course is integrated arts and science department. And they offer courses in culture and tourism, international communications and environmental sciences. The next public university is Nagoya University. And it's again one of the very popular universities. And they are offering a program which is called Global 30 program. So that means they select 30 international students from all across the world and they offer different programs in sciences and engineering. So in this university, there are courses mainly in engineering and sciences, for example, automotive engineering, physics and science, chemistry program, biological science program, social sciences and Asian culture studies. Next on the list is one of my favorite universities, it's called Osaka University. And actually I also got admission in this university, but later I decided to go into Tokyo Institute of Technology. So they also have their own Global 30 program. And same like uh, Nagoya University, they are also offering courses in science and engineering, including chemistry, biology, international human sciences, special integrated science course, international physics course. And the next public university is again one of the famous universities in Japan. It's called Hokkaido University. And Hokkaido is basically the north region of Japan. And one famous city in Hokkaido region is called Sapporo. And this university is located there. And they are offering a program called Integrated Science Program or also called ISP. So they are offering four majors for undergraduate for physics, chemistry, biology and mathematics. The next university is the top ranked university of Japan, Tokyo University. And for undergraduate, they are offering a special program called PEAK program. And that actually means program in English at Komaba. Komaba is the location where their campus is located. So they are offering two major undergraduate courses. The one is Japan and East Asia studies. And the second one is environmental sciences. Unfortunately, there are not so many undergraduate programs in English in Tokyo University. The next on the list is Tohoku University and it's in the Sendai city of Japan. 
And they also have the program called Future Global Leaders Program. And in that program, they have three major courses. The first one is Advanced Molecular Chemistry, International Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering, and Applied Marine Biology. The next university is, of course, one of my favorite universities because I graduated from this university. It's Tokyo Tech. But from this year, its name will be changed to Tokyo Science University, and it is located in Tokyo City. And they have undergraduate program in English called GSEP, that means Global Scientist and Engineering Program. And it's, it's actually one of the very prestigious programs in Japan. And they have Department of Transdisciplinary Science and Engineering. So what's the meaning of Transdisciplinary Science and Engineering Department is that you take ad admission in the engineering department and you have option to attend courses from all engineering department from mechanical, electrical, computer and everything. And by the final year, you can decide that which major or like which speciality you want to pursue in. So this is a very good program. The next university is Temple University in Tokyo. It is a public university. Basically, it's a Japan campus of American University, which is a very famous uh, Temple University. And it offers 12 major courses in arts and sciences in English for undergraduate starting from Asian studies, communication studies, computer science, economics, international affairs, international business, political science, psychological studies, tourism and hospitality management. It's actually one of the very well recognized universities in Japan and outside of Japan as well. From now onward, I will share a list of the private universities that are offering courses in English for undergraduate. So the first on the list of private universities is Hosei University and it's located in Tokyo. They have their department of liberal arts. So liberal art departments usually means management related courses or economics related courses. So in this department, they have four different majors. Firstly, global and interdisciplinary studies, business administration, sustainability studies and economics. The next private university is Musashino University and they have their program called School of Global Studies. And in that, they again offering courses in business economics, management, marketing, global trading, and accounting. The next on the list is Kyoto University of Advanced Science. It's a private university in Kyoto, which is a very nice city in the center of Japan. And they have their engineering programs in English. And in engineering department, they have courses in electrical, electronics, mechanical, robotics, even AI, Internet of Things or IoT and some sciences programs as well. The next university in Kyoto is again a private university and they have their department of liberal arts. And in that department, they offer courses of economy, business, law, political science. Next private university is in Tokyo and it's called International Christian University or ICU and they are offering more than 15 major courses in almost all fields of computer science, sciences and liberal arts. So liberal art again means courses in management, economics, accounting and all that. The next private university is actually one of the very popular and high ranked universities in Japan. It's called Keio University in Tokyo. And they have their two very signature programs. The first program is called PERL or Program in Economics for Alliances, Research and Leadership. And it is actually offered by the Faculty of Economics. And the next program is Global Information and Governance Academic. That is GIGA program. So that is basically offered by the Department of Policy Management in the combination of environmental and information studies. Again, the next university is the same level of K University. It's called Waseda University, private university in Tokyo. And they have their courses in liberal arts, starting from political science and economics, social sciences, international liberal studies, fundamental science and engineering, creative science and engineering, advanced science and engineering, school of culture, media and society. The next private university in Tokyo is Shibora Institute of Technology or SIT. Actually, I have been to this university a couple of times and it's a very nice university. And it's again one of the top ranked engineering universities in Japan. And they offer courses in engineering, uh, for example, systems and engineering, uh, engineering and design and architecture. The next private university in Tokyo is Sofia University. 
and they have their three major different uh, departments that offer courses in English Faculty of Liberal Arts, Faculty of Science and Technology, and SOFIA program for a sustainable future. It's called SPSF program. And all of these departments have different sub courses for undergraduate in English. The next private university in Tokyo is Tokyo International University. And they offer courses in three different majors called business economic major, international relations major, and digital business and innovation major. Another private university is in Yamanashi city, and it is called Yamanashi Gakuin University. And this program was quite interesting because I, I realized that this is a very famous program in Japanese universities. It's called International College of Liberal Arts or ICLA. And they again offer courses of liberal arts like uh, environment, philosophy, economy, human rights, public communication, expression, culture, mind and biology, and community studies. Okay, the next private university is a very famous university in Japan called Rismekan University in Kyoto City near Osaka. And they offer four different majors for undergraduate in English, starting from international relations, offered by the College of International Relations and College of Policy Science and College of Information Science and Engineering. Okay, another private university which has a similar name, Ritsmekan, but it is Ritsmekan APU. APU means Asia Pacific University. And it's in the south side of Japan, but this is one of the very, very famous universities in Japan. And this university has the highest number of international students in Japan. More than 50% of the students of this university are foreign students. And this university has one of the highest uh, employment ranking in Japan as well. So they offer English courses in sustainability and tourism, international management, and Asia Pacific studies. So this was the list of all universities in Japan that are offering courses in English for undergraduate. And I will mention the name of these universities in the description of this video as well, and also link to their departments or admission offices. And now I will explain the list of the documents that you need to apply for admission in these universities. So first of all, you need admission application form that will be available on the website of each university and that you have to fill. You have to fill your personal details in that. And secondly, you need all your academic documents from the previous school or the college. So if you have studied your intermediate or 12th grade, you can attach the certificate of 12th grade and 10th grade with the admission application. Third document that you need is the letter of recommendation, preferably from your principal of the college or your school, or you can also take recommendation letter from any of your teachers. As most of the courses are offered in English in these universities, so you need to prove your English proficiency. And for that, you need one of the English proficiency test scores either IELTS or TOEFL, most of the universities require. There may be some exceptions where if your previous school is international school, there may be some exemption, but keep in mind more than 95% of the universities require either IELTS or TOEFL. Again, if you have any academic achievements, for example, you got a position in your college or your school, or you had any any kind of award from your academics or even non-academic activities so please don't forget to attach those certificates with your admission application as well and lastly which is very important part of the application is statement of purpose or motivation letter or admission essay so this is usually a one page long uh, essay that you have to write to explain your motivation that why do you want to study in japan why do you want to study this specific field and why you choose this university? So basically you have to show your motivation, your interest that you are really passionate about this field and this will decide your admission for most universities. So that was roughly the list of documents that you need to apply for undergraduate admissions in Japan. So now let's talk about that when you should apply for admission in these universities. So in Japan, the new year starts from April of every year and you have to apply for admissions from the previous year. So in most universities for the April session, the admission process starts from the 
August or July of the previous year. So for example, in 2024, if you apply in July or August, you will start your studies from April of 2025. And in many universities, there are two terms. One is spring term that starts from April and another one is fall term that starts from September. And for two sessions, again, the admission opening of those universities is also two times. And you can check the website of those universities for specific dates for the admission applications. Lastly, what I want to share is the fee structure in these universities. As you can imagine, public universities or the government universities are relatively cheaper than private universities. So the fee structure in public and private universities in Japan is like this. The admission fees for most universities is 200,000 yen, Japanese yen. You can convert in your own currency, but this is basically 2 lakhs. And after that, if it's a public university, the annual fees of public university is almost 5 lakhs or 5.5 lakhs or 500,000 yen. And for private universities, the annual fees is usually 10 lakhs. Depending upon the university, the fees can be a little bit less or more. But this is roughly how much you will have to pay in Japanese universities in addition to your living expenses and accommodation expenses. So for many people, this is not a small amount to pay for undergraduate studies. So many of the universities in Japan offer scholarships or partial fee concessions, uh, like a 30% concession or 50% concession, depending upon your uh, scores or like uh, your previous uh, academic record. And also many universities have fully funded scholarships like MEX or many other scholarships as well. I will explain about the scholarships for undergraduate in these universities that how you can prepare well for the scholarships in undergraduate programs. So please stay tuned with my channel and I will upload that video very soon. And thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. If you have any kind of questions, please feel free to ask in the comments. I have some of my friends studying in undergraduate programs in Japan and I can ask your questions to those friends and I can reply to you in the comment section. And thank you very much again for watching this video. Please like if you found it useful and also consider subscribing to my channel. So thank you very much and I will see you in the next video.